G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I've got some black coasters. <laughs> oh dear. No, um, I'm going to do something today. So I have pre-poured about half full uh, just with black resin. And I'm going to do something really easy and simple. Anybody could do this. Look what I've got. Eyeballs. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. Now these are stickers and I have made these myself. Um, well, I didn't print them myself, but it's my design and I got them printed and they are to fit my 10 centimeter um, coaster mold. You don't have to use a deep one. It's, it's, it's a sticker and it's also vinyl on top. It's not paper, so you don't have to worry about sealing them. Because you know when you can't put paper in resin, you've got to seal it first with Mod Podge or something like that. But with these, they're, um, they're vinyl, so you can stick them straight down. And I thought they would just make such talking points. Now, I've got four different colours. These, This is the blue set. Let's see if I can go in a little bit closer. Very realistic. They're iris. I'm not shaking the phone, am I? All right, so that's the blue set. And then we have this one, which I'm going to use today because I, I really like the colours in this one. I've called this one blue gold. So you can see it's got blues and bits of gold and colour like that in it. So I'm going to use this one today, I think. And then I've got... This one's kind of blue with a hint of like aqua orange kind of a, a color scheme going on. Also really beautiful striking pieces which would make amazing talking points around the dinner table if you had these coasters. And also being different, I think, you know, <laughs> you know which one's yours, don't you? <laughs> now. Brown eyes, these are amazing as well. I love them all. I will actually make a set of each of them. But um, for today, I think I'm just going to go with blue gold. So that's them there. Right, and now I haven't actually used these before. I haven't even tried them in my mould. Oh, just let's hope it works, hey? All right. So I will position them first. Hopefully I can actually position them. Um, and then I'll mix up my resin, all right? Oh, here we go. Oh, gosh, now I need to get my head down so I can see what I'm doing. But if I put my head down, you're going to see the back of my head, and that's not a good look. And I'll try and position them first time so I don't have to peel them back up again. Hopefully I'll get it right. Um, a millimeter over to the side. Gosh. All right, but see, they peel out really easily. All right, so I'm going to try and just measure up this side with this side, and hopefully, once I've got that sitting in there nicely, the rest of it should should just follow. <laughs> now I've got it up too far on this side. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. All right. But look, you can, <laughs> they come out easily. Uh, maybe I'll try it. Uh, I'll have to try and work out which is the best way to do this. So maybe looking at this corner and, well, not a corner, but that side and that side. All right. Here we go. All right. This is going to work, you guys. All right. Perfect. It's down. Third time lucky. Look at that. So yeah, you can you can peel them off and put them back in again. Make sure your resin has set nicely so that um, you can, you know, lay them down. There's no point doing tacky, putting them on tacky resin because you're not going to be able to lift them back up. Right, I'm going to do the others and mix up my resin and um, I'll be right back. The next one should be easy now that I know what to do. So it is much easier popping your head right over the top and looking directly down so that you can see where that sticker is before you lay it down. Because before when I was standing back here, <laughs> looking across the top, 
um, I didn't do a very good job but then once I actually got my head right there over it I could see where I was supposed to put it but yeah it just wouldn't work with me doing a video of my head there because all you'd see is the back of my head but that's how you do it perfect make sure you haven't got any bubbles under there oh don't they look gorgeous already all right I'm gonna mix up my resin I'll be right back right I've mixed up my resin um, I'm using the platinum 360 plus I've got it sitting in some hot water just hot tap water just to try and make it a bit thinner because it's still it's cold in my studio it's only 20 degrees celsius it's um it's winter so it's cold resin gets thick when it's cold and traps the bubbles more so if you can put it in a warm bath um, it will increase the rate that the resin cures a little bit but i'm hoping that uh, the bubbles will come up to the surface more easily because the resin's thinner. You may have noticed if you use a really thick resin that it just does trap a lot of bubbles, doesn't it? Whereas if you use a really thin resin, the, um, the bubbles tend to come up to the surface easier. All right, so I made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B and I figured that would be enough. I sort of went um, 4, 8, 12, 16, 160 grams and well I got 143 so I think that'll be sufficient. And I do want to dome them a little bit. I want the resin to dome over the top rather than just lie flat because resin does... Um, Pull away from the sides a little bit like it shrinks a bit when it cures <clears throat> so I always try and fill my coaster molds right to the top you can see that little edge kind of curved and you know that you've got enough and if you look across the top towards a window if you've got a window in your room look into the light <laughs> look into the light uh, you'll be able to see if your resin is doming nicely and you can also tell, you know, if, if they're equal as well by doing that. You try and make them equal. So don't put too much resin in to begin with. You don't want it all overflowing and making a mess. Once your resin breaks that surface tension on the side, it'll just all run out. So go easy, go slowly. Try not to break that surface tension. Because once you've broken it, yeah, it'll just all pour out and it's really hard to stop it. Oh, look at that. It looks so pretty. Now, where's my little torch? Quick little torch, just for bubbles. Now, because I've got the, the back is black and the top is clear, when you're looking at the coasters on the side, you'll be able to see half's black and half's clear. <clears throat> and I thought it would be nice to go over the edges with some gold pen. And I'll also just pick up the gold in the actual eyes. So once I've demolded, I'll go around the edge with the gold and just around the actual tip there as well with the gold. But um, you can see how nice. Oh, there's a bubble. Gotcha. Got you too. <laughs> um, yeah, you can... I think the um, the edge will look nice in the gold but because I put the black down as a background you can see that they all match um, and they've got this tiny tiny little black edge that you can see which I think is really pretty so that's pretty much all I have to do for now I will keep an eye on it just over the next five minutes make sure no pesky fluff flies in there like that gotcha um, and just keep checking it for bubbles hopefully I haven't got too many bubbles stuck underneath my vinyl um, now let me have a look across the top okay this one needs a little bit more I can see it's not quite as full as the others so that's pretty much it you guys um, we'll wait for tomorrow morning because it's later in the afternoon now it's 5 p.m. so um, I will come back to you tomorrow and unmold these gorgeous eyes, irises, and um, I'll see how they turned out. 
see you tomorrow. Righto guys, so it's the next day. I wanted to show you before I unmold, hopefully you can see what I was saying about the doming. See how we've got that slight little rounded or curved edge. So yeah, hopefully they will be really, really pretty with a nice rounded edge. Right, let me pop you back on the tripod. There we go. <laughs> None of you got car sick, did you? <laughs> me moving you around. Okay, so they are ready. Let's get them out. Should pop out nice and easily. There's nothing to um, show on the, the back because these are the front. Look at that. Oh, they look just amazing. Now, oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you is um, I have put these in my eBay store. I'm just feeling around the edges there. I'll just give these a light sanding with my nail file while I'm talking to you. I have popped them in my eBay store. And because it's just a sheet of paper, um, I've actually put them as free shipping. But you need to be like you need to buy something else. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to send them out for free, obviously, because the way the um, my post business works with Australia Post, they only do parcels. And I phoned them and I said, well, what do I do if I just want to send a letter? And they said, well, we don't have that option. So I thought, well, what can I do? Because there's no point me charging, you know, $10 or $20 if you're overseas to send a piece of paper. So that's why I've put them down as free postage. Um, but as long as you buy something else. So if you buy a mould, you know, and it, it costs you $18 postage or something to go overseas, um, you can order one of these um, and it'll just be sent with your parcel with for no extra postage charge. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, I've just taken that little rim off the edge there. Okay, now if you, you don't have to put anything on them if you don't want to. You could leave them like that. But you can see what I was saying to you about, you can see a little bit of clear and a little bit of black, which is fine. Um, you maybe could get um, a Sharpie <laughs> covered in paint um, and paint the whole thing black if you wanted to. You don't have to do gold, but because I've got the gold pen here, I'm just going to have a, a little go at that. A little tiny bit more that I want to take off. When I do these, I try to sort of go just a little bit towards me. You don't want to be taking the top off. Just a little bit on the, bit of a slight angle like that, just with a nail file. Like it's not much, like you don't need to get your Dremel out or anything like that. Just feel it. If it feels a tiny little bit rough in one area, just give it a, a tiny sand. All right, um, I've got my little bit of card there that I use for pushing. Just gonna do that one and we'll see what it looks like like it you can wait for it to dry and you can go over it with black if you want to sometimes you can you can actually trim these if they're a bit bit hairy a bit hairy fairy you can um you can give them a bit of a trim with a pair of scissors if it's got stray hairs all right just some little tips for you all right let's go around the outside first like so. You may have to do two coats, depending on. Oh, I've got nothing to hold on to now. <laughs> so go around and do the the side, but you'll have to wait for it to dry basically before you can do the top. So what I'm going to do now is because I'm not, I'm very impatient. Um, I, I can do that later and I'd sit it on an upturned little cup or a something like that so that you know the the bottom's not getting messed up but for now <clears throat> I'm just going to go around this top edge because I want to see what it looks like just to I try and put the rim of the coaster in the center of that little nib there This is where you need to make sure that your nib is nice and straight, not furry. <laughs> uh, if you've used these pens, you'll know what I mean about furry. 
a little, little hair or something on it. All right, so what do you think? Do you like that little gold trim there? Or do you prefer it without? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm actually in two minds about this. I don't, not sure if I, I like the gold or whether I prefer it just with the slight little <clears throat> black edge that you can see there. Just trying to make them so that they, it's equal, equal size line all the way around. All right, so there you go. So that's that one, that's that one without. I mean, I know it's a different design, but that's that's the look you get. I kind of think I prefer it without. <laughs> so anyway, there they are. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope you like my coasters. <laughs> I just think they're wonderful. I think they're such a, a lovely talking piece and uh, so easy to do. Hey, anybody could do it. And um, I think if you're doing markets and things like that, I think they'd sell really well. Maybe you could do individual ones so people can just sort of pick if they want a brown one and a blue one and they can pick their own. Anyway, there it is. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of them. And yeah, they're in my eBay store. Link is in the description, you guys. So many people saying, where's the link? It's in the description down below <laughs> to my eBay store. Right. Thanks for watching. Take care and uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.